Okay, we're here for Australian Platypi v the Austrian women on field eight on the beaches of Royan. That's Royan for us Australians. And uh, the Aussies are standing on O. And there is the pull from the Austrians and we're off. Nice upline cut from Mandy. And there's a D from the Austrians. Oh, they jacked it! I think that's just come back in play, so the Aussies will be picking up on their end zone line. It's pretty hot. You want to give me an estimate for the heat? It's over 30, isn't it? Yeah, 32, 30, maybe? maybe? Yeah, 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 it's hot. I've got the benefit of this umbrella <laughs> and not running around. Hi, Prentice! Woo! I'll try not to talk total shit. Oh, Lyra's jacked it! Rainbow underneath it. And she's got it about a meter from the end zone. Oh, baby! Mandy on the end zone line now. To Rainbow, it's in. Platter pie up, one zip. Looks like there's call. No, no call. It's goal. Coach Cat Smith out there, pulling a line. So if you're just joining us, Platypie up 1-0. This is their first point on D. That's a good pull from Caro. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that is literally perfect. Bloody beautiful. <laughs> Looks like the Aussies are playing a bit of a zone here. That's an open throw. So the Aussie D line now with a chance for the first break. Oh goodness! More dog, more dog. <laughs> and just looking for a reset now. Aussies are knocking on the door. Just got to be set. Oh, that's a lovely little over the top from Caro. And the Aussies up two zip. Let's go to Cam Fink, who knows very little about Frisbee. Oh, that was a pretty exciting play just then. I have to say they wore down the defence with strategy and patience, and uh, that's to be admired at this early in the game. <laughs> wow, that was pretty good. <laughs> I don't know if it's true. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see if the Aussies can uh, get on a bit of a D-roll here. Grip this battery or am I going to get a cramp? Sorry team. I don't know if that's better or not. Thank you. Come on. I can help. Okay. Alright, so Lyra's going to send up the pull, which is no surprise. She's got a beast of a backhand. Into the wind, it's going to be a tough throw. Yeah, the wind is pretty much at the backs of the commentators heading slightly left to right of screen. There's Lyra's pull, sends down a bit of a roll up. Oh, that's oh, nice! Yeah. Get on, get on, Nelly! Yeah, Tony! It's on, baby! 
And another turn. Here we go. We're uh, just making some space for herself. She's looking brake side. No, she's coming under. And it's got some float. Can Beck get there? Oh, she's in. Yeah, she. Yeah, I think that. Was. Uh-huh. Bit of a discussion. Did she land on the line or not? Is is the chat? For those not familiar with the exact rule, it is cold. The exact rule is that if she landed on the line, she's still in the field of play, but no, they've deemed she was in the end zone, and that's a goal. It's a handy start for the Australians going up. Mandy! Prentice says hi! <laughs> Go and play frisbee, you good. <laughs> Hi, Noddy. Good point. Very professional break and play there for a <laughs> dedicated hello to an audience member. <laughs> so the Aussies up now three zip. Um, we came out on O and then have put away two breaks pretty quickly. <laughs> and Prentice happy with her well. call out. <laughs> and why wouldn't you really? Prentice, of course, looking forward to uh, representing Australia at the World Games. You superstar, you. <laughs> so for those who uh, haven't been live streaming the result on court one, Australia got up in a narrow win. Yes, true. Uh, that well was at Reef Sharks versus New Zealand. Um, and I think they went up 13-10. About Sorry. that. 13-10, yeah, something like that. Narrow, but... A short win. Yeah, it was a good game. Here we go. Caro sending up ball. And the Austrians hoping to put something together on offense. Great work, Vic. Get that, Vic. Australians coming out with that junk set again. Forcing them to use their break throws. And you can see how tough that makes it. Yeah, that's a good throw. And they're through the cup now. Can they put it together? No. Well held up. Looks like the Aussies are switching to man now, which is a sexist way of saying person to person D. Oh, great D, Caro! Thanks for coming. So just patient on the offense now. Oh, good grab again. Caro looking to jack it. And that's a miss. So putting away the zone for now. He's playing that. Oh, that's up. Sally's got a good look at it. Good D. Oh, Caro thought about that for a second. Oh, tough chance put down. Manhood! Manhood! Should be disappointed with that. No big! No big, big! No big! Go, 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 Jane! Jane, Jane! In now, Jane! In now, Jane! In now, Jane! Oh, that was close. Caro is playing a monster Z point here. Great catch from the Austrian there. They've got a bit of movement here. And that looks like it's going to be a goal. Canadians on the board. There we go. The Austrians are in. It's 3 1. Mary, your thoughts on the game so far? Uh, well, we've had a good start, I think, so that's really good. We're, we're keen on getting a, a win on the board, I think, so the girls are really hungry for that. So, yeah, I think we, we might, you know, we're in the right mindset to do it this game, I Indeed. think. Indeed. <laughs> Got good intensity, keep it yeah. up. <laughs> so, the Austrians about to jack the disc. The wind's changed direction a bit, and yeah. it's now very much running left to right, so the Aussies upwind on O here. Yeah, 
Good communication. Oh, oh looks like Rainbow's put that down. So I think the wind possibly playing a bit of a part there. The wind's playing a good 45 degrees. Oh, the Austrians have jacked it straight to the end zone. Got a fingertip to it, couldn't pull it in. So do I gather the Australian results haven't been favourable so far? Uh, I think they, they didn't win yesterday, but I can't remember exactly what happened. They might have only played one game or possibly two, not sure. Good, Charlie. And we're getting a call for uh, Mandy to pull her shorts up. <laughs> That's pretty common. <laughs> oh, there's not a lot of torso on display. <laughs> oh, pick call. It's the bane of Frisbee. Oh, sorry. So just talk us through what's going on here, Cole. Well, there was a pick, which means that um, essentially one of the defenders was prevented from defending her player because she ran into someone else. Um, it's kind of a no-fault violation. And um, it's just... It's probably the most annoying thing in Frisbee, actually. <laughs> anyway, and girls have... You don't think it's worthy of being a penalty? Oh, no, it has to happen. Otherwise, there would be deliberate screens. picks everywhere, screens yeah. everywhere. But um, just slows the game down a bit. But anyway, that's the way it goes. It's all good. Girls have sorted it out. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Shani with the disc here. And Beck, very experienced player. She's always there for a nice, easy reset. Get someone out of trouble. Mandy with the disc now. Oh, streaking down. Got to be careful. Oh, Mandy's jacked it deep. To the end zone, it's up. Shani. Oh, it's a goal. Get around her, Aussies. Beautifully taken in the end. <laughs> Mud crabs, get off the live stream. Come down here and cheer. What you, look at this. Soft. <laughs> Let me give you a tip. Grab an umbrella from the uh, reception. Come down here in the shade. Look. Cam Fink modelling it for you. Just grab yourself an umbrella. It's cool. It's pleasant. Being within, I'd say, 500 metres of the ground... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the hotel see, they're referring to, by the way, is, is this one over here. They're not far away. <laughs> Look at Cat Smith. She's in. She's asking the girls for more. She doesn't want a. She doesn't want a thirteen six victory here. She wants thirteen one. Great point back. That's a brutal pull. Austrians up into the wind here. It's got to be said, this is tough conditions now. Oh, wow. Miscommunication. Caro's got the disc. Aussies with another chance to break with the wind at their backs. Sally and Caro, they are putting it together right now. Noddy with the disc. We're about five metres from the end zone here. Oh, Noddy's checked a hammer. That was beautiful! Great throw, unfortunately put down. Uh, Josh, the score is 4-1. Oh, and the Austrians have put up a lovely flick up, but Caro's on that. Yep. Her disc reading skills are just on point. And here we go, Aussies on the door of the end zone. Oh, looks like Naughty's going to score, she's in. And the Platts, up to a 5-1 lead! Oh, I don't know who that is, but Beck's happy to see her. <laughs> Power hug. Indeed, they just about took the fence down. <laughs> it's 5 1, people. Platts are up. Well, the men's team, after their victory, were talking about coming supporting the women after their warm down. They're going to have to hurry. <laughs> Could all be over by the time they get here. Also, just a linguistic query on the pluralisation of platypus. No, I'm right with you here, Cam. They've... 
Sorry, Cam, what were you saying about Just platypus? Repeating. I have a platypus? linguistic theory on the pluralization of platypus. Uh, I'm no expert, but I'm reasonably confident platypi is incorrect. <laughs> I'm afraid uh, you are correct there, but we'll... Um, <coughs> We're not we'll... going to reprint the merchandise now. <laughs> <laughs> also, screw you Fink boys for being so pedantic. <laughs> Pulls up, here we go. Austrians got the wind at their back now. Let's see what they can do with it. The Aussie defence has been really good. They often come down in a bit of a junk set at the start, but now they've just gone straight match up D. Oh, that's a nice way to go. Oh, oh just put it half a metre too far out in front. Austrians just need to compose themselves a little here. I think Potsy's just put up a link that gives you the live score so you don't have to keep asking me. But that's okay, I'm happy to repeat it. So especially when it's 5-1. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, what was that, Cam? 5-1! Go, Aussie! <laughs> Lyra's got the disc. Everybody loves a number 14. Definitely the oh, best number. Here we go. Oh, go, 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 go! Not quite. Cam, if you could just quickly film my back. <laughs> Everybody loves number 14. Obviously, number 14. Definitely number 14. Okay. So the Austrians have got the disc again. Not a lot of movement from the cutters downfield. Austrians are going to have to start working. I heard Kat Smith talking to the Platts prior to the start of the game. She absolutely wanted them to take away those open undershots. Oh. So there was a pick called. Discussion is, was it before the throw or not? Certainly this receiver stopped running. Um, so if the pick call is after the throw, it's a turn. If the pick call is prior to the throw, then it goes back. Certainly, a, certainly affected her run because she completely stopped. I think we're sending an English translator out. That's our spirit captain. Oh, it's our spirit captain. So she's okay. Gone in to help out. Thanks, Beck. No. <laughs> I also hear some sort of rebranded Australian Aussie 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 channel. Yeah, I don't know what that field. was. Does anyone know which countries are over there? No. Can... I'm going to it. looks like we are retracting that and it's a turn. So, well sorted out by the players. Lyra is picking up. She looks excited too. She's just sent up a high release flick. And I'm oh! <laughs> That was a magical catch! That was... And that is a good D. Yep. Pay that. So the Austrians with a good D that just just sat up in the wind a bit. Ooh, right They've handed it back. I can really need to just take their time and compose themselves here. They've been yeah. rushed, throwing some speculative passes for the game to stand. Agreed. And the Aussies just got to keep the disc low into the wind. Seen a couple of throws sailing up a bit. Oh, Lyra's and just smashed it into the end zone to Mary. Thanks for coming. That's 6-1. To the Aussies. For those back at the hotel, get on down here. It's 6-1, it's only going to go for another 10 minutes. You won't get too hot. <laughs> Look, I know everyone watching already plays Frisbee, but seriously, how good is self-officiation? Like, it is the best. Cam and I were watching a game. Uh, we were watching the, the Reef Sharks playing the New Zealanders. And we saw a drop by New Zealand that we thought was a cold drop. He called a foul and we were like, oh, mate. <laughs> and, uh, and the Australian uncontested straight away. And clearly those two players had a better perspective than we did. And, uh, and the, the foul was correctly held. Um, and I just love it that everybody gets to put you know, their perspective in and then the call gets resolved. And I think we're seeing that again here with that pick call being made a turnover. Okay. What do the Austrians have to do now, Cole? Are they getting trounced currently? Well, I think they need to um, think about how they're going to work against the Australian D. The Australian D is forcing them to throw throws that they don't want to throw. Um, and it's going to be on the cutters to make some open options that their throwers have got. 
So to the uneducated commentator, it looks like too many of their players are too far downfield and not getting open at all. It means they and there are a lot more pressure closer to the <laughs> Having said that, I hope I get proven wrong. Oh, oh, oh it's gone! It's gone! Beautifully taken. Here we go. They're right knocking on the door, and they're going to need some movement soon. Just a nice little reset. I think number 26 has certainly got some throws. And her movement there is very nice. Oh, that's a great D. Wow. Caro is playing out of her skin. Again, I have to ask why the Austrians weren't moving more in the end zone there. Yeah. Very static. The Aussie D, they're playing a very strict team plan. Take away those opens, take away the open side, make them throw breaks, especially into the wind, and it just makes it hard. I think uh, the Austrian player standing out for me is number 26, who's marking Caro right now. She's got some real disc skills and some real spatial awareness. Her D is really good. It's usually a sign the person walking towards the disc on the turnover. <laughs> it's probably their best player. <laughs> So can the Austrians make some space here? That's a good cut. Yeah, really nice cut. Yeah, this number 26, busting up line again. She looks like the key to their O. She's about to send it. Oh, that's a great D! Jevons, the score is 6-1. Austrians pushing too far forward on offense. Oh, Caro's just jacked it long. That looks beautiful! Yeah. And it's a goal! That's the Aussies take half, 7-1. And remember, uh, oh, Jevons, there's your brother over there, mate. If you can just see the bloke in front of the tent, wearing a towel as a poncho. Um, so the Aussies have taken half. The interesting thing about halftime here at Beach Worlds is that it's not a timeout. You just, uh, you do the end swap and the possession swap as appropriate and get straight back into it. Do we have any water in the commentary box? Uh, we do, if you just go over to that bag over there. <laughs> so Albie Evans over there, working the team up into a frenzy. He. Uh, put in an excellent bid on D in that Australia-New Zealand game. And the sand here is about 40% sand and 60% dirt. <laughs> he certainly wore it like he'd been at a mud retreat. Oh, he got a face full of it. No worries, Jevons. You're welcome, son. Probably some good exfoliation going on over there, I'd imagine. <laughs> and making use of the shade here. Indeed. <laughs> as you would. You don't need to spot down if that's uncomfortable. <laughs> Have a sip of that. Top. Okay. So, Aussies are on D. Lyra with the pull. Wind has almost completely died down just for the moment. Gonna do a zone. Oh, cheeky zone. Oh, cheeky zone. Cheeky zone. Let's, let's see what they got. So, Mary's on the mark. And Noddy. Oh! Oh, wow! Oh. Ultimate Australia just shared our video. Good work. <laughs> Thanks, Potsy. Uh, with production skills and commentary this high. <laughs> Absolutely. No oh, look at that movement. Naughty Delira. Well, the plats are moving it really nicely here. Oh, oh. not sure I would have thrown that, but Naughty's brought it down! Rip a catch in a pack. <laughs> Cam, the commentary's getting uh, plaudits all around. <laughs> We're loving it. Oh, Cole's the one getting the name calling, though. Well, that's just because they don't know your name. <laughs> <laughs> Having said that, he might just think it's two of you. Well, that's possible. <laughs> if our mum rings us and one of us answers it and it's the other one's phone, she can't tell the difference. So. I'm rightly so. <laughs> oh, there you go. Commentary's mint, rip a commentary. <laughs> Job done. Okay. Well, when you have facilities that are this uh, state of the art, <laughs> this is the commentary booth. 
<laughs> All right. <clears throat> oh, from Bunbury. Hello, WA. Uh, all right, so Platypie is the score eight one? I believe so. Yeah, eight one. So comfortably ahead, and you'd have to say the scoreboard reflects what the games look like too. Yeah, agreed. Oh, Shani with a bit of a slip there as she uh, sent the ball, but here we go. With the exception of a couple of the Austrian players. Oh, Steph Ma wants a shout out. Well Howdy, top. Steph. Mandy on the mark there. Austrians have got an open look. She's put it away. Probably sensible. There's number twenty six. This is the player, as a, again... As oh, a that's a nice player. open shot, but she's put it down, unfortunately. I say, the 5 meter passes are working much better for the Austrians than the 10 to 15 metres. Absolutely. They want to get that little zigzag through the middle. That's, Especially that's the, the one sweet spot. between 26 and 28, I think. Those two moving very well. Mandy with a lovely low-release flick. Back wall bridge with the disc. Oh! Good job. And the Austrians have got a D. So number 26, definitely their star player. Oh, great cut from 46. Just sold a dummy to Beck. Yeah, number 26 wants the disc every second throw. And as she should. She's got some lovely breakthroughs. Well, the Austrians are starting to put oh, together a bit of flow. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go big! Oh! oh! Can't quite keep it off the sand. Great effort. That was a play all round. Indeed, they're much more fluid on O that point. This is turning into a bit of a marathon this point. You'd reckon the uh, girls on field would be feeling it. And also from the neutral's perspective, you really would like Austria to get a point or two. Neutral perspective? We're Aussies, mate. <laughs> That's why I had to qualify. <laughs> As an Australian, the parochial nature in the commentary box, you want to give at least a bit of balance. <laughs> All right, you can be balanced. I'm barracking for the Aussies. Mandy with the disc. There's baby. Oh, a photo, but it's taken in. Fortunately, Beck's about nine feet tall, so that works well. Austrians are really running out of legs on D here. Think if the Australians can just keep running, and they do. It's a score. So, Woody telling us that uh, number 26 is Lisa Maria Hunghofer, and uh, she is a gun. Yeah, clearly the best player on the Austrian team. Oh, could get some additional commentary here from oh. one Mish Phillips. Hello. This will balance out the uh, the uninformed rambling from the other <laughs> Vink brother nicely. <laughs> <laughs> Frankly, I think most people are enjoying the uninformed rambling the most. <laughs> oh, they are, they are. <laughs> I came from a group in the hotel lobby watching the live stream. Mm -hmm. And it's worth they pointing out again that the hotel it. lobby is no more just, than 500 metres away. Just over there. Oh, yeah. For your team. <laughs> we have to do a 20 minute walk up a hill. <laughs> and we don't have fans in our rooms. We do it tough. Well, you've got some fans like on the, the sideline. <laughs> oh! Bang! <laughs> Really, the masters can't walk that far. <laughs> That's why the punters are staying in the foyer. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. This could be an opportune time to take a moment to appreciate the beachside architecture. Yeah, indeed. Which I have to say is pretty bland and concrete block looking. But the disc in the air now, so back to the action. Lyra has such a lovely pull. Oh no, that's a drop pull. Oh dear. So the Australians, what are they going to do? Lyra's barking orders. I think she's calling for a side stack with an ISO. So can we just throw to Mish Phillips in expert commentary on the, the what are the ramifications for a drop in off a pull in the end zone? Look, it's a tough way to give up a point if Australia can score here. Oh, oh Lyra's dropped it. Put it down. It's particularly demoralising when that happens. Uh, unfortunately, Alex, I can't live stream any muddies today because my games are on exactly the same time. But any time I'm not playing, and the muddies are, I would love to talk shit <laughs> on the live stream. And we don't have the seven second delay broadcast. No, no one's bleeping that out. Oh wow, she nearly put that down. 
holds onto the bow. The Austrians have got to use their legs here. That's a great bid to save it. Oh, breakthrough! Oh, Brings it in. She's jacked it. And Sally with the team. Woo! Take it, Brack. I thought you were being impartial. Now uh, you're whooping. I was decried for my <laughs> lack of parochialism <laughs> minutes ago. Well, uh, Jevons is asking for a bit more talk about the architecture, if you wouldn't mind. Okay, well, if we just pan down quickly, we'll see uh, some players taking advantage of the <laughs> luxurious commentary box conditions. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. The Aussies have got the disc again. Yeah, nice, Jane. Come on, Alice. Keep working, Alice. Yeah, Alice. Oh, oh this wow. Disc down. down. Okay. Just a little lazy on the throw there. There wasn't that much pressure. Jane, you got far side. Well, Jane, far side. Point's been going for a while now. I reckon we're getting tired. Vic, 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 Vic. So, big cross field reset. Vic, out, out, out. Vic in now. You can yeah, Vic, hear Beck Walbridge. Yeah, Vic, get that, Vic. Oh, oh that's, uh, a that's a lovely throw. throw. What a shot! Yeah, Number 16. Tell us who that window. is, Woody. That was, fantastic. That was, was massive. Good. I'm serious, Woody. Number 16, who's that? That was an absolute monster lefty. Oh, yes, thank you. Very Daxner. Very Daxner. Well, Immaculate pronunciation for going in the commentary box. <laughs> I reckon. That was a brutal lefty flick upwind into the end zone for a score. And repaying what has to be said is not frequent strong leading from the Austrians. That was a powerful lead and rewarded well. And uh, the live stream's just shown me about 15 shocked reactions um, because, yeah, that was a shockingly good throw. <laughs> it's, it's maybe that they're just taking the time to appreciate the wall of concrete that surrounds the marina here at Royan. <laughs> Including the view of the brutalist church. I was going to say, that is a very like imposing looking church, isn't it? All right, so number 26, Hofstadter? Hofstadter? Hofstadter, Hofstadter I think, perhaps, sure. yeah. Yep. Okay, so Mandy and Cara there. Mish, if you wanted to give us any coaching perspectives from an elite coach, do feel free. Oh, oh Mandy up, just keeps it in. Great catch, Mandy. Probably doesn't have time to pull her shorts up now, but probably will look to get to that towards the end of the point. Oh, the movement through the middle here is oh, really nice. Slick. And oh, oh wow! wow. So Caro just put that disc end, uh, very slightly behind, and uh, Rainbow had to make a contest of it there and wasn't able to bring it down. Here we go. Off stutter. She loves that high release break backhand. Absolutely and loves it. Cole's favourite from a couple of points ago, making good position, not on it there. She, she's a give and go beast. Again. She loves the one too. Doesn't get it back on that occasion. Oh, oh it's down. down. Cold drop there, unfortunately. Unfortunately, from an Austrian perspective, obviously not winning, wishing to impose any sort of editorialization on this commentary. <laughs> well, look, I like to see a game of high skills, you know. Cold drops aren't how you want to win. But anyway, here we go. And Mandy's got the disc. Definitely not how you want to lose. Definitely not how you want to lose. All right. I just feel like the Aussies have got a few more legs yeah. than the Austrians. Starting to show more. Mandy's just jacked it long. That's a leader. <laughs> Sorry, not ha Hofstadter. It's, it's Hanghofer. Hanghofer. Yeah, thanks, Woody. You. Uh, sorry, uh, Brett. The score is nine to two to the Aussies. Hanghofer. Hanghofer taking up the, the disc. role of starting the play. So surely the Aussies have learned from that high release break. Noddy's got her hand up high, trying to put that throw away. And Hanghofer again. One of the ones. Well, they've got him on the break going. side, but. Ooh. Just too far out in front, that pass. Good movement there. Yeah, it was good movement. Really opened up the brake side. Ebony, closer! Ebony, closer! Closer! Aussies have got three handlers back here. Oh, Caro's just jacked it long. Rainbow's camped underneath it and brought it down! That's a score! 
10 2 to the Aussies. Flying out to a pretty unassailable lead, you'd have to say. Let's get a special comment from Albie. Albie. Bring it on down, son. I'll be interested to see if this man's still got sand in his ears because <laughs> he was certainly wearing a lot in his face earlier on after taking a massive dive face first into it's the gone. end zone. <laughs> Man, these girls are killing it. <laughs> give, us, uh, give us your summary, Albie. Uh, Sam, hot, caps, green and gold, winning. You've observed that it's sandy <laughs> and hot. I'd like to draw attention to the garment you're wearing, which doesn't look like it's breathing a lot. No, so you see, it's got quite the wide uh, um, <laughs> um, So, it's, yes, it's not bad. So that's like carrying a car door around so you can wind the window down. Yeah. So, Albie, why don't you just give us a quick 30 second rundown of the Reef Sharks New Zealand game? Uh, um, so, got a goal, they got a goal, we got a goal, we got a block, I got a goal, we got a goal. The colour of the uh, commentary here really bringing the game to life. Uh, sand, uh, more goals, Hot. and then, what was it, 12, 13, 13, 10, nine, maybe? 8, nine, 9, yeah, something like that. Well, okay, here we go, sorry, we're so back we're to the action. Live action. My bad, my bad. Oh, hey Jimmy, I heard you're uh, listening, mate. Hope you're well. I think that was Jane that sent the pull up, but oh, possibly Crystal, not. Hey, you, you got that shotty. Albie, you're getting shout outs and hellos from the uh, from the streamers here. Is that so? What's going on, streamers? Oh, 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 great switch. That was Stay a tight, lovely tight. throw. Tight. Stay tight, eh? Number seven's Stay wide tight. open. Oh! The D is on! Shotty! Oh, wow, what a team! Everybody press the love button now! That was mad! Fantastic D sandwich in between two offenders, gets a hand to it and spoils oh, the play. Oh, way to make a contest! Huge D. Alright, here we go, the Aussies. Oh, an immediate drop. Yeah, that's a cold drop, unfortunately. D didn't reward the D as it, uh, as it deserved. Oh, another lefty jack to the end zone! Nice wow, Veronica something something. What was it? Huxner. Duxner. Veronica Duxner was the throw wow. the catch. That was the throw. She, her lefty, her lefty flick is oh, beastly. The, uh, that was the big the long jack as well. Throw. Yeah, she's thrown two thirds of their score. In fact, All right, well between <laughs> Hoffer and Duxner, they are clearly the best throwers on the team. Absolutely. So it's uh, ten three now to the Aussies. And the Austrians on the sideline still with a huge smile on their face. Absolutely. The and that's what we like. Wave yeah. to the fans. We're celebrating it. And by the way, it's 10 for Austria. Don't get oh, 10 4. My bad. Don't get yeah. confused. 10 for Austria. <laughs> <laughs> so, plenty of good spirit here at the fields. Come on, Aussies! Come on, Aussies! Yes. Get into it, Ben. You know it, mate. <laughs> In response to the claim that there's good spirit on the field, we've just had number seven claim that she's trying to jeep. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great pull. Hanghofer. <laughs> Alright, what do we got here? The Aussies happy to just move the disc around in the backfield until they see what they like further upfield. Nice patient O. Nice Shana, then Lyra, then Beck, back to Lyra. Now they're just waltzing down the field, and that yeah, is a goal! Yeah. Way to go, Aussies! That was textbook beach offense, that zigzag through the middle. Get out the training cones. Just Absolutely. waltzed it in the end there. That was perfect point. Hello. <laughs> forget, the, forget the shirt, just look at the cap. Oh, oh Dockers fan! Wow. <laughs> Just go with this. Forget about that. <laughs> Come on, Aussies! <laughs> We've had a hack. Everyone touched the uh, disc that point. Nice. Oh, nice. That's what you want. Goals. Nice one. Beautiful. <laughs> Good movement. You could see or hear a bit of uh, cross-discipline lingo there. Everyone yeah, touches the disc is a hack. Exactly. Well, let's face it. Hippies invented this game. <laughs> <laughs> There's plenty of other terminology I'd like to hear then. <laughs> Crystal, focus on us, not Albie. <laughs> I can only assume the lead-off throw is uh, an abbreviation of pulling a bong then. Get down, some hard <laughs> Easy, Tiger. <laughs> oh, that's an odd-looking pull, and that is a brick. So what happens when it goes out on the full? Uh, it's a brick, which means they carry it to the middle and start uh, approximately one end zone distance into the centre field area. 
Hockey Australia! Here we go. Aussie's playing a junk. Baby's counting throws, so you'd think it's going to be a transition. Oh, they've oh, jacked it. That is a beautiful throw. Oh, wow, what a team. Oh, she's brought it down. Surely she should have thrown that. She's thrown it now, and that's going to be a goal. Wow. Wee. Fantastic play from the Austrians there. That was a lovely sideline jack from oh, the Austrians. When you triple their score, you welcome that kind of play. Great D. Aussie. Great D. Wouldn't have liked to see that at 10 all, but... And did you, I, I missed who it was, unfortunately, but one of the Aussies got up, got a finger on the disc, and just macked it another three yeah. metres down the field where the Austrians caught it. And uh, But, yeah, pay that. That was a good throw. And that's the kind of cheating we like to see there. What a glorious <laughs> yes. point. Yes! Soak it up. Deserved. That was wonderfully played. The, the, the <laughs> <laughs> played well. Okay, so score update. Is it 11, 4 or 5? 5, five I think now. I think it's 4. No, I think no, I think it was four. I think it is four. It's fine. Yep. Okay, so you can hear the whistle. That's telling them that uh, they're 45 I'm seconds. Wave over from, uh... Oh, hi, Albie. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh, thanks, Crystal. <laughs> nice close up of my sweaty face. You're right, glowing. Hang off her with a disc. Hang off her. Gonna send up the pull. Coming off there, seven ten today. And it's that in. girl has some quality throws for real. Come on, Australia! Come on, Aussies! Here's some, some solid Dockers. support from Ben. Ben and Dockers. Oh wow! High stall count now. What can she do with it? Mandy got it. Yeah, be coming now. Yeah, be coming now. Got to say, the Aussies' disc movement in the last few points has truly been awesome. And, oh! I think we might have had a look at the back of Beck's shirt rather than the action there, but Rainbow just put in a good horizontal bid, and the disc just leading her slightly too far. So, hang off her. Bring it in. I think we all just want to see her jacket deep. Shorty! Mandy almost got a hand on that, but not quite. Yeah. Oh, oh wow! Did Shani get a hand in there? I think she did. Wait, is there a call? No, no, no call. No call at all. No call. I thought that might have been a trip. Great spirit, sort of ladies! Contact. Great spirit! Well, I think Shani oh, came for a bit of a poach Shani. D off a different player, so that might have been what happened. Oh, Mandy's oh, just bulleted one to the end zone, and that's a goal. Easy, so, Aussie's now on 12. It's an AUC! Have a great tourney, guys. Have Thanks, Ben. Life. See you, mate. Well, you're probably not Ben. Or you, no, are no, you Ben? That, that bit's correct. Oh, all right, you that's are Ben. That's right here. Good cheering, bud. Catch ya. Do you share your shade? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Please, come involved. in. You need it more than we do. Ah, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a required introduction and tell a bit about yourself? Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. Why don't we hear a little bit about the Austrian team? How's your tournament been so far? Um, well, it was hell of a tournament until now. Yeah. Huh? We are in a hell of a, a pool. <laughs> So we started off with the USA. Yeah, all right. And That's a tough start, sure. Yeah, we lost. Yeah. But yeah. And today in the morning, we started off with Denmark. Uh-huh. Uh, we unfortunately lost as well. Uh-huh. And now we are playing against the great Australian girls, <laughs> which we are uh, confused with very often. <laughs> but we really don't have any kangaroos, believe me. You heard it here first, folks. No kangaroos in Austria. Yes. Yeah. The difference is <laughs> one hour of a difference. <laughs> yes. Oh, Cam. Get out. Get out. Right. Well, we're Austrians with the disc here. Australians have got... Oh, wow. What a breakthrough. That was beautiful. And there's a lead, and the lead down deep. Let's get it there. Wow. The movement through the cup here. They've got an isolated player in the end zone. Yeah, it's down. And the Aussies are clutched the man's in. Yes. It's a goal! Yes. <laughs> nice point from our friend number seven. Indeed. What do you think about that point, Mish? Uh, I thought the flow was really great. The and points that have looked best from both teams are where the disc has 
kept Goal's moving the whole throw. time. Where they're not Goal's stopping and throw. sitting. Oh, you're the, you're the thrower. Great stuff. What a point that was. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, Mish. Comments about the disc movement? Uh, it was... It showed how effective it is to keep the disc moving because the defence doesn't get a chance to really set on it. So, number seven here, our friend. And other players on the team on that point just basically pass it off, got it, pass it off, got it the whole way down. Yeah. Really effective. Very hard for the downfield defenders to... Uh, to defend a player who doesn't yet uh, have a four supplied on them. Stream, so there's a bunch yeah. of watching it now. Australia's had a couple of nice points like that too, where they've just kept watch it moving the whole time. Yeah, you can watch it tonight. Is it? It's on Facebook. Oh, awesome. It's uh, yeah, the Australian Australian yeah. women's team. If you find their page, it's coming from there. Oh wow, oh, communications error. Communication there. Lyra and Shana not playing the same game. So Beck's on the mark, those big long arms. Oh, she just back on a face full of sand, unintentionally. Oh, Hanghoffer. Have you watched this girl at all yet, Mish? She's a gun. Oh, she has watching. got some... She's good at that throw too. Yeah, that high release sure. backhand break. It's brutal. Oh, and she's open oh, again. That's a score. Good lead. Oh, oh no, she must have been on the line. That's going to be a goal, though. Oh, wow. Is that, that's a break. That's a break from the Austrians. Well done. And they celebrate, and they should. Absolutely. That's got them up to six or seven. I think it might be seven. Austrians have certainly gotten it together in the last ten minutes. They looked like they were losing fitness and fading. Mm, that they of surge. Indeed. Really put it together. Good for so the why do we... and the lovers of architecture. <laughs> so why do we get the S and they have to take a T? Yeah, I'm not sure. All right, so the Aussies now have an opportunity to close the game out on this point. Is that a seeding reflection there? No, that happens in every sport worldwide. Oh. Austria just got AUT. Don't know why. Well, because in their local, like in German, it's OST. So they're probably less wedded to the AUS than we are. Ah, because that's our native tongue. It's yes. OST. Yeah, they probably don't even care. I'm completely speculating here because I wouldn't have a clue. But Mind you, they were just did a cheer before that said AUT. All right. Riveting commentary here. Sure, everyone knows. Well, it's, uh, in. both uninformed and speculative, which is what you want in commentary. <laughs> with, Here we go, the Austrians with the pull. With no information to speak of, we're not afraid to make some up. Easier. Here come. Easier. Well, Getting back down the wing pretty comfortably. So, yeah, I thought the Austrians were coming out with a bit of a junk zone there, but no, they're just playing match up. Oh, Rainbow's got herself five kilometres open. That's a nice... Oh, and that's looking... Oh. Okay. What have we got? Lyra's coming back for a nice, easy reset. Okay. Aussie's good disc movement here. They're just making good choices. Rainbow with an epic catch right on the cone. Stop! Caro knocking on the door. Yeah. Just want to see them take their time here. Don't throw anything oh. like that. <laughs> Cole just preempting the <laughs> ambitious throw there. Well, look, I reckon the At this stage of the game you can afford to work it around. No, it's just most turnovers on the beach happen one metre from the end zone. People trying to throw a goal and they could just throw a reset. I think there's something in that for all of us. Woody's telling us it's because Australia comes before Austria in the dictionary and the Olympics. Oh, well, the Austrians have called a timeout. With the alphabetical and scoreboard advantage, Australia is sitting pretty comfortably there. <laughs> Indeed. Mish, what's your thoughts on uh, end zone turnovers? Um, well, I think a lot of the turnovers that are happening here, throwing based ones, actually aren't rushed or bad options. They're an uh, issue with touch and angle on the disc. Uh -huh. So we're seeing a few be thrown that are effectively really light blades. Yep. So they go out into the space where you want them to go and then they fade away really fast. Yep. Um, and they basically need a bit more front edge control to slow down the disc so that it waits out there for the receiver. Yep. So Slightly that that politer throw. Yeah. So that one that Caro just threw actually was to a nice space yep. um, for the receiver, but it passed through that space too fast. Yep. It's almost like Mish knows something about Frisbee.
so Cam, you've got a shout in our last commentary. Uh... <laughs> 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 oh, you, yeah. I'm assuming you're related to Jane Julius, sharing a surname and everything. All right, timeouts here are pretty brief, 70 seconds, I think. Uh, so the games are 45 minutes, but you fit quite a lot of frizz into that time, and I speak from experience when I say you can be pretty cooked at the end. Have we appreciated Rainbow's hairstyle? No, we haven't got it. She doesn't seem to come over this side of the field, um, but we will we try and... look at it from the back before, but probably not for the viewers at home or yeah. the hotel lobby 50 metres away. <laughs> So maybe at the conclusion of this game, I might quickly get her to run over and... Uh, It'll be worth it. Probably wasted the opportunity during the time out to get on field, actually. Probably did, although... Frowned I'm wearing it. I'm, well, I'm wearing yeah. an Australia jet. I don't want to... Anyway. Here we go. Austrians with the disc on the front cone. They've set up an enormous side stack. No ISO player, so... Sorry. Those three players over there are the cutters. They've got a handler in the middle and the handler on the cone, so there's a gigantic space which Australia's chosen to fill with Caro and Rainbow. So let's see if the Austrians can uh, jink their way into some space. Oh, well, welcome Jane's dad, Julius. Glad to have you on the show. Oh, she's jacked it long and Lyra's going to be all over that. feel like the Austrians could have tried an ISO player in the middle there. Rainbow with the disc. You can see she's cool, calm and cool. Oh, Caro's just thrown a break out the side of the field. And she's telling herself to just take her time, throw sensible options. Oops. <laughs> the Fink brothers sharing a uh, family joke. <laughs> All right, Austrians with the disc again. They ISO'd their handler and Shani has come down with the disc, so. Lira to the end zone, Rainbow for the score! That is the game! Everybody get around it. You're welcome, I'll high five you with that hand. Cheers. Okay, let's go get a look at Rainbow's head while we can before we lose the viewers. Rainbow, show us your head! Show us your head! <laughs> Amazing! So there we have it, people. The Australian Platter Pie have won the game 13 6 versus Austria. Very entertaining contest. The Australians. Went out very hard early. The Austrians started to put together some O and came back. And that's it. Wave to the fans, girls. Woohoo! Yes. Woo! Woo! And that's me done. Bye. <laughs>